Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kane's episode 1 of Skyrim. So, uh, it was a really, really, really busy day. Uh, so the game released last night and I had nothing but issues. I mean horrible issues. To the point where my game would lock up, literally freezing my whole computer every 30 minutes. No, that's a lie. Maybe even 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I tried to update my SSD firmware. I ripped out my hard drives. Uh, you know, replaced some SATA cables. I did everything. Uh, you know, wiped my BIOS. To, like, started fresh on that. Uh, I did everything possible. Updated my video drivers. Downgraded my video drivers. Cleaned out my video drivers. Updated my video drivers. Um, everything. And it went bad. So I formatted and everything was good. Weird thing is I had no viruses, etc, etc. I don't even have any crap on my MS config. I mean, I don't install crap. So, I mean, the only thing I ever do is install games. Uh, but uh, I, I, I assume the there could have been a conflict with, say, um, one of the libraries or whatever uh, DLL files that m may have you know, been updated in the system that may be having a conflict. There are so many ways that a computer can fail, which suck. But now I run the game at 60 FPS uh, constantly. It's smooth. Uh, I run everything at maximum quality. The game just looks ultimate. I mean, you know, they unpurposely make these little things here so you can see these mountaintops. Look how unreal that is. Um, so, yeah, it's working great. So, first of all, guys, I'm going to be doing these videos hopefully every day, um, if not, uh, I fail. Um, but anyways, uh, basically check the description at the bottom, the first link takes you to our Skyrim form section. If you're a member of Godcraft or not a member of Godcraft, feel free to talk and socialize about Skyrim. Um, we have this little thing we're doing called a daily journal type thing, which we're trying to get people to participate. I think it's kind of fun, just kind of, you know, makes the game more alive, I guess, in a way. I mean, a lot of us are, you know, multiplayer kind of players. I'm one that's totally 100%. Like, the last single player game I would have played was, I can't even tell you, I would have probably friggin' Moral Wind. I mean, <laughs> I really, really, really hate single player games, but this is just epic. You almost feel like you're in a world with a whole bunch of people. Uh, you got these little kids that troll you, you can't even kill them. I mean, it's pretty real life you know how it is so just an update what I am today so uh, oh and I overclocked my computer to 4.4 gigahertz 2600k so yeah my computer is like burning fast now um, it's amazing uh, so I'm dual wield one-handed swords um, I don't quite even get what the point of it is almost because I seem to only fight like this um, I, like, if you were to use both of them, they seem slower or the same, and I don't get that yet. I want to know what, really, you know, I don't, like, understand that part yet. I don't know if most people just leave their left, like, their, you know, their other one, just leave it alone, and they just work on the one, and, you know, put their best damage there. Who knows? Um, the other uh, thing I noticed was... Um, you, you, you put your main skills into stats, like uh, your skills, right? So you pick whatever. So most of mine's been put into stamina. I'm a level 11. Uh, I'm wearing boots that give 40 stamina, if you're wondering why that looks higher than it should be. Um, anyways, uh, I guess that's what that little green mark is there, or is that me playing around? Oh, that was me playing around, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, but anyways, most of mine has been put into one hand, which is what I'm using the most. And, uh, you know, I've been putting it into the one hand stuff. But my main question is when I do the first main, you know, perk or whatever you want to call it, the level up, uh, when I put it into stamina and health, besides increasing your health and instead of just increasing your stamina, does anyone actually know if it, you know, increases the regen? Does it offer any other benefits at all besides adding just a single 10? you know, 10 digits to your stat. Because, I mean, that seems a little weak. I mean, I assume, like, a lot of games, it would have some kind of trickle effect in some kind of way. But uh, maybe somebody out there would know. Um, 
uh, let's go to, let's for fun, go to my stats, general stats. So here's my general stats. I'm just going to go through them quickly. You can pause it if you really want to look at them. Combat here. Magic. Crafting. And crime. Yeah, and here's some of the quests I'm working on, I guess. I mean, you guys can pause it if you're really that hardcore and want to know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Basically, uh, this is my main goal when I'm playing right now. Um, first of all, to find my house. <laughs> I thought that was my house. No. Isn't that the main gate? No, it's not. Uh, my my uh, main goal right now of playing the game is pretty much take my time, enjoy it, uh... And level. I did the main. I mean, did the main mission, uh, like some of it, the main quest line, just to the part where I killed the dragon, um, which is not a huge deal. I mean, you guys have seen all the trailers. I mean, that's pretty much what you do. Pretty soon, you kill a dragon, and everyone's like, "Ooh, wah, wah." Um, from there, uh, I can't believe I'm lost from my house. Oh, here it is. I think. Oh, okay. Um. From there, yeah, you get lost even in these cities. It's still taking time to get used to. Um, but yeah, yeah, from there, uh, I've just been going into, you know, the caves and dungeons and camps and etc, etc. Pretty much killing things, pretty much not touching any of the, you know, the quests. Um, you get quests Don't here and there, actually. Apart, like, a, right? I cleaned out a, a, a mine, and all of a sudden, these people were all, like, praising me. Yay, we don't have to wait for the people to come back. We can mine again, and, you know, things like that. Uh, they, they sent me this little servant woman. What do you need, my thing? I am your sword and your shield. Yeah. Until next time. On the Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A yep. Gift for your Just waiting for that. My the pants are down, mod. The other way if you tell them who you are. Anyways, uh, here's my items. I'm sure you guys are nerdy enough to want to see all the items I've collected. I've collected a lot of books. I'm wondering why I have red items in here. I'm pretty sure they're not stolen, but maybe you guys know for sure. Um, I'm going to go through these quick. Again, if you really need to see them, you can pause. Uh, a lot of books. I basically try to read all the books I collect, and uh, I try to get every book I can get, and I store it away here. There's a lot of junk in here as well right now. I gotta kind of clean it out. Um, I keep selling too much to shopkeepers, and then <laughs> they have no money. So I kind of been throwing things in here, sort of a buffer, which is not a big idea because I mean, at least the game doesn't have a billion different kind of items, so a lot of items will eventually kind of stack up. Um, but uh, the quality of the game is really good. Um, the textures aren't really superb, but uh, I feel that over the next couple of months, you're going to see a lot of texture quality mods out there. Um, there's already somebody who kind of said, you know, high quality texture mod, which was really more like repainted textures. Uh, kind of a lame idiot for false advertising high quality you know high quality pretty much is you know double or quadruple the size of the you know the texture image to make it look nicer but it, it wasn't that way but anyways hopefully something comes in soon oh that's kind of cool the skull on there I didn't even notice that look at that <laughs> but uh, anyways I'm gonna f find an enchantment table eventually I wish I had one in my house or could get one and all I saw is I could buy an alchemy station here I don't give a crap for alchemy but it'd be cool if I can do the de-enchanting items for what I can see is for an item that you have a, a stat on that you've never de-enchanted basically you de-enchanted to learn that and yeah that's how it works uh, and then I guess from there you, you you find ingredients or whatever and then enchant items I haven't played enough around with that Clearly, I'm not that far in the game. Right now, I'm just clearing out dungeons, etc., etc. Oh, and I got my shout. People get excited when I use my shout for some reason. Listen to this. Let's see if I can do it here. Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Oh. Hmm. 
These fruits and vegetables are disappointing, Carlotta. I wasn't excited at all. Sometimes they get all, you know, hyper like, oh my god. Maybe I'll do it right here. What was that? Oh crap! Man. This is when I have to revert now, because I don't know how to... Uh, you know what? I did not mean to hit you. <laughs> why? Why? We were friends one time. Uh, I must defend myself. So this is how I fight people. I just slam my sword. I guess I could use the right one here and there, but most of it is just this way. As you can see, I'm not a bad fighter. But I'm getting cornered, so I'm going to get owned here. Holy crap, this is so unfair. I find if you run in circles and you keep them busy, uh, you actually take a lot less damage. You just got to keep them busy. You got to run in circles. So that guy can't even be killed. That's what happens when the guy can't be killed. He gets like kind of like a knockout. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to get the macros properly working or the shortcuts for multiple different kinds of... <laughs> Why would the woman get in the way? Uh, finally I died. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, and uh, I hope you like the video. And I hope you enjoy my little series here. And uh, yeah, thanks again. And check out the forms in the description below. And join our community. If you're not even part of Godcraft, just come anyways and talk about your experience with Oblivion and share it and offer tips and you know ideas and suggestions and we could be just one big family of a community I mean Godcraft is not really just about Minecraft is about just a community of people who enjoy playing games as well so uh, thanks so much